Hello and welcome. I am Maria and this is my channel, Ollie Doodles Crafty Corner. If you are new here, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoy the video. It's just a short, sweet one. Um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoy it. This is floss tube number 60. Um, it is November the 9th. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm going to do this video and then do a live with me, a live stitch with me. Um, but um, I do not have a lot of stitching to show since the last video. Um, I talked about this already in my last stitch with me. I only stitched on two things in the, since the last video. I probably won't do another actual floss tube till about a month from now, about four weeks, because I've not been getting a lot of stitching in. Um, I've been kind of obsessed um, with knitting. <laughs> but um, I still I do do cross stitch. I just I only put in a couple of hundred stitches um, here and there um, a day where I used to put in around five to six hundred stitches or more on a project. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So, I have two projects to show. I have my dream catcher that is this one. This is a pattern by Gecko Rouge. I am stitching it on 25 count, two over one tent stitch. Um, I would say I got about 200 stitches into this since the last video. I finished here because I think I was like right here. So I finished this square and now I'm continuing into the next square. so y'all can see so yeah I got that on there and then on my um, other one that I've been working on which is my rainbow dog this shop is no longer open on Etsy so unfortunately I'm not able to send you over there I really love this pattern. It is really beautiful. I am stitching this, I believe it is 28 count, 2 over 1 tent stitch. It may be 25 count. I'm not, I don't really remember the biggest problem on that. I just know it's 2 over 1 tent stitch on it. And this is where I'm at. I've done, I've got the nose here. Um, 90% complete. I got a little bit to do right here. And then I've got the ear worked on. So I'm going to work on here and here. Those are my two areas that I'm going to focus on. Um, and we'll see how many stitches I can get in on that. Oh wait, there's a third project I forgot about. Let's knock it down. Just a second, let me put the Q-snap back on. Q-snap came up with it. I'm just trying to get it back on. That'll work for now. Alright, so. Do I still have a picture of this? I don't remember. Um, let me 
just a second here. Let me pull up a picture of this. Because I believe I have one. Might not. Okay, so it does not look like I have one of this one. So let me do it this way then. I will show you the pattern in Keeper so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm working on. Okay. No, we're gonna go that way. Sorry. Let's see if I can show this without a glare. There we go. This is this project. It's another pattern of Etsy. Um, I'm doing this on 25 count. I believe it's called sapphire color. There's what I've got so far. I've been working mainly over here, building this section down. So. And that is all my cross stitch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway winners, and then I'll show my knitting. That way anybody who's not interested in the knitting can go ahead and go because um, I know not everybody is, which is perfectly fine. All right, so I did two, I did three prizes. Um, nobody want, um, put in for the third one, so we'll run that one again at another time. So um, this one, nobody put anything for, I knew the keyword was pens. Um, so I'll put this aside and I'll wait until next year, closer to the 4th of July for this one. Alrighty, so let's see. The first one I ran um, the giveaway for was for the spring here. And the person who won this giveaway is Debbie Fawn. I will tag your name in the comment post on the day the video was posted and you won the last one and I may be seeing you this weekend so I may just bring it to you. Um, so yeah. Alrighty. And then the second one was this pretty butterfly one. This one, um, the giveaway word was butterfly. And Crafty Chaz won this one. So I will post on the channel. Um, I'll reach out and let them know. I actually have them on Discord as well. So I'll let them know and I will try to get these out as soon as possible. Um, so congratulations to everybody that uh, won. I... Sorry, lost my train of thought. Just like, bye-bye. Okay. So that is all the cross stitch. That is all the giveaway stuff. So now we are going to go into all my knitting. Um, yep, so I did get a finish. I actually got two things finished in my knitting world today, this week. Um, so I finished the baby blanket that I was close to finishing. So here it is. It is gorgeous. 
I love it. I've not blocked it or anything like that. I'm not sure if what this, you know, I've not ever blocked anything, but this is only my second finish, um, technically. Um, I finished a washcloth as well, so third finish. Um, but there is here. I love the colors in this. It is gorgeous. So I have the baby blanket done. And I'm super happy with it. And then I turned around and made a baby beanie to go with it. I love the colors. And I've also got in the planning to start, I just need to get another set of needles, um, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm going to start and do two more beanies in this color that I'm going to make an adult size so I can make them for mom and dad. Um, so mom and dad and baby can all have the same beanie. Um, so that's my goal thought on that because I still I went and um, had to go get more yarn to finish the beanie off and decided it would be really cute to um, make the parents beanies too so that they can match with baby. So that was my thought on that. So those are my two finishes. Alrighty. So my next thing is my scarf. I've been making a scrappy scarf. So I'm here. I think the last time I showed it, I was in the red. So I worked here and now I got all the white done and now I'm in orange. So it's slowly coming along. I don't work on it a whole lot. Um, I pull it out every now and then. Um, put that back. And then the next thing I'm going to show is it in there. This is, put that there. This is my baby blanket. Not my baby blanket. This is my blanket. This is, I'm making this for me out of all my um, scrap rolls of yarn. So, like, Normally there's enough to make a couple of rows before it runs out. I think I'll probably have about two, maybe three more rows of the pink before it's done. But I'm loving, you know, I like the, the thought of it, you know. So there's that. It's just plain knit stitch. There's no specialty stitches on that one at all. I have too much stuff. Sorry for bumping that. All right, so this is gonna sit in my lap while I go through this. All right, so I was working on a beanie and I had gotten to where I could start decreasing on it and I'm not sure what I did, but I messed it up so bad um, that I ended up deciding to rip the whole thing out and start new. Um, so the beanie has been restarted. Um, I'm doing it two over one, uh, two, two by two rib now instead of the one by one rib. So I've gotten that far on here. I'm about halfway done on the length because I'm trying to get to eight inches before I start the decrease. So I've got that one, which is slowly coming along. Then I've got a vanilla sock cuff down that I'm working on. I'm using um, nine inch circulars on it. 
which is an interesting, it's very interesting, it's very different from doing the magic loop, but I am enjoying it. So I just, I have this, I'm just working the length of the sock. I'll probably be starting the toe and I'll probably another three inches. And then I have a second sock going because I wanted to do toe up. So I'm starting at the toe, working up. So I have a good three or about four more inches before I'm ready to start the heel on this. So that is those. Just making sure I'm showing all my stuff. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show is my shoulder wrap. Um, I call it a wrap because it's gonna be a rectangle. It's not going to, you know, to me, most shawls are triangular, um, but this is gonna be rectangle. So this is where I'm at on it. Like I said, this is the way the pattern's going to lay. I'm gonna ripple, the ridges are gonna be on my shoulder here. This is the way it's gonna go. Um, but, so that is that. So that one's coming along. Um, I'm also going to put a marker on this so that I know where I'm at so that the next time I show it I can see more of how much has been completed. My thought I'm thinking is since I showed it last I've completed about this much. I think. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So Oh, All right, and I have one more thing that I started. I started this on Sunday. Um, and I have been, you know, I had thought about making one, uh, a bag. It's a, I'm knitting a bag. Um, I saw somebody had knitted one and I became obsessed with it. So I found a bag pattern that I liked. Um, I see a lot of the market bags and a lot of the bags that have the holes like in the bag. I've never been real fond of holes in my bag. So I found this pattern that it's just stuck in its stitch 90% of the way, you know, all the way up it. So this is the bottom of the bag. I am starting to work on the sides. So I made the bottom here and then I picked up all the stitches so I could go around. So now I just go around and around and around. And that's it. But I thought this would be a really cool bag. Um, I should have enough of this to finish the bag, but my thought on the matter was is if I don't, I have some brown yarn because this is like white, brown, and greenish, um, different tones of brown in it. So I figured if by chance I did not have enough, I do have another color that could finish the bag off and still go with the aesthetic of it. And yes, my alarm telling me it's about time to start streaming. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of me. Um, if y'all stayed uh, till the end, I appreciate you very much. Um, um, hope you enjoyed the all my knitting progress. I hope you enjoyed my stitching progress and hopefully on my next video um, I'll have more. So my next video will be in December, probably the second week of December. Unless by chance I get a lot of stitching done and then I'll do another video sooner. But I think I'm going to just do the floss tube themselves once a month. 
and then um but i will still be doing my stitch with me's in, um, i've been doing live stitch with me's more than actual stitch with me's um and might try to incorporate some stitch with me's in as well um, as the lives so yeah Alrighty, everybody thank you for coming in i hope you'll have a great day and I hope everybody has a great week. Bye, everybody.